Alright. Hey, <laughs> that's what I want. Do some ad libs stuff. Let's keep going. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. I've been Stacy Hill all my life, but my first DJ name was Star Booty. Star <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. That's the name. Yes. That's not his. And uh, Felton of Vibes for that. He still called me that. And if you go in there and look at some of my records, you'll see the stamp on there called Star Booty. And that's because I had these blue jeans and had a big star. You no, know, but yeah, Star Booty. Nice booty on the yeah, star. Yeah, that's Star Booty. That's been Star Booty. <laughs> booty on the star. I, I became hot wax uh, way later. It's back to much radio. But back to talk about in the beginning. Where'd the hot wax come from? I want to go before the hot wax came. Okay, go before the hot wax. Okay, right. So, you know, I. Oh, I don't have got the name of the place. Well, I heard Ken. Yeah, Ken call you. No, no, no. Before that. Six Mile. Yes. Uh, the oh, Checkmate. Oh, the Chessmate. Okay, chessmate. that's what it, right. So I always was playing music in the basement and entertaining the block. And then when at the tender age of 17, I went into Chessmate on Six Mile and Livinois. And went up in there and Ken call you, Morris Mitchell. And Dwayne Bradley, True Disco, was playing the music. And I said, how are they making that music mix? I was already kind of mixing. I would just kind of put my tracks together. And I climbed up in that booth and looked over there and saw two turntables in the mixer and I ran out to hide in the plants. Now you know that's a long time ago, right? That's a long time. <laughs> Kevin McAllister came in there because they heard about this chick playing this music and she's mixing on belt-driven turntables. I still don't know how I did that this day. It was built, but they worked. And uh, he came in there, discovered me. He said, "Hey, I need to introduce you to somebody who was Duncan." That's how Duncan Sound came out. So I had to go in and audition for that. And I went in, and it was the first time I even seen a quartz lock turntable. I didn't know how to unlock it. I'm steady moving the speed, and it didn't move. And I was too scared to ask how to do this. You know, I didn't want to look dumb. And Mark Freeman come running out of the back because Linda Duncan, they were back there building some speakers and he come running out talking about, that's what I'm talking about. That's what they do in New York. And I went, what, what, what? Because I had never really, I don't know, I'd never been to New York. I know nothing about that. This one got hired by Duncan Sound. Then Charles Love from Fun Time Society hired me and introduced me to Detroit. Then came Shari Vari and Cheeks and all that stuff. And Darnell Small, one day I was over getting my hair done in his garage, in his, at his house when he was doing hair in the basement. And he said, you hot wax. I said, I'm what? He said, you hot wax. I said, okay. And I took it. And that's what I went to bring. And that's how I became hot wax, because he said so. And so for you to bring it all the way full circle to do what you're doing this year, I'm so excited. You have no idea. And your marketing piece is off the chain. It's like, and turquoise is my favorite color. It look good on me too. <laughs> <laughs> very much. Very much. But you know, you really could have left that candy out. Because I ate every drop of them, even the sucker. <laughs> oh man, I'm like, what is that? I ate all the, what's this last one you put in there? The um, sweet and sours. I ate the whole pack. I'm like, really? <laughs> it's a good problem. You know, I, you know, that's after I brushed my teeth that I had to go brush them again, you know. Uh, but that's me and uh, Shai Vari, August 2nd and 3rd, Millican Park, 2014. Hot Wax Out.